hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time, and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. Over here on Discord, I've got El Bucho with me. Hi, El Bucho. Howdy. Hello. And Bucho is my new uh, level 4 Patreon supporter, and that means he's entitled to a training match, which is what we're going to be doing today. <clears throat> so, Bucho, did you have anything in particular in mind already as to what you would like us to play today? Well, the team that I have the most affinity for is Chaos. I have a 1550 team called the Chaos Cuddle Club because they're quite cuddly. And um, all right, fifteen fifty, you say? Yeah, the two uh, teams that I have the most difficulty with are uh, things like uh, lizards with a lot of guard I, mm -hmm. and, and dwarves uh, with a lot of guard. They're kind of the same thing. All right. And uh, then also extremely agile teams like what else? So um, I'm not sure if you have a guard locking team. Um, if you do, I'd like to play one of those. Otherwise, we could just go with your rats or a wood elf team that you have. Uh, so I think my lizards are... Um, they're a bit high. They're 1990. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and, well, they do they do have a bit of guard, but they did suffer a couple of Saurus entries. So not crazy guard locking. We could do that. Uh, Agiles I've got plenty of, so uh, we could yeah, do let's that. Let's do an easily. Agile. I mean... If we can find something that's uh, more similar team value, that would probably be a better game. All right. Uh, so I've got 1520 Wood Elves, 1730 Skaven, um, 1680 Skaven. Uh, oh, let's go with the 1520 Wood Elves. All right. So um, before we start, I should point out that at this team value, diff at this team value, Wood Elves are still a big threat to chaos. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of makes sense that you would struggle against them. Um, let's not pick inducements because we're pretty close in team value. Now my uh, chaos team used to be much higher value. It's suffered uh, quite a bit at the hands of a uh, also very high value chaos team recently. And I'm yeah, still trying they do to this. rebuild. <laughs> they do this. Which is part of why Nurgle is so good at high team value. Because instead of one apple, regen, you get yeah. nine regens. Yeah. Everything else is just is just extra, but the, mm -hmm. the regen on all the important players is huge. And on top of that, you even get cheaper Fowlers. Right. Okay, let's have a look. We have the toss. I'm going to go ahead and choose to kick to you here. Okay. So let's see. You have a Blood Sure Hands Agility 4 Kickoff Return Beast. That is a very, very solid player. I like him quite a lot. Please try yeah. not to kill him. <laughs> well, it's it's a friendly, so you'll be fine. Um, it it also means you've got a great counter against any strip ball that I would have, mm -hmm. except apparently I don't in this team, which is quite rare for what else. <clears throat> I think so. I've got a frenzy sidestep tackle and a plus movement dancer. I guess the plus movement, so the, my strip ball probably died and I replaced it with a plus movement. So I see you've got one tackle. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have more when you were high team value? Uh, I had two uh, at the highest uh, point. One of them died. The other, well, actually, both of them died. This one I recently gave tackle to. All oh, right, yeah. Because, you know, if you're struggling against. Uh... <clears throat> hey there, Jumanji. Welcome. If, if you're struggling against Wood Elves, then a lack of tackle can often be uh, a very sensible reason for that. I mean, I think that two is kind of the optimal number of tackle, um, simply because in a lot of situations, tackle does absolutely nothing for you. Well, yeah, so that's 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 part of why um, Wood Elf teams or, or Elf teams uh, thrive in a, in a uh, open matchmaking bashy environment. Mm-hmm. Because uh, um, if the meta is everyone plays chaos at that team value, and they 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 skip tackle because they're only playing against chaos and those kinds of teams anyway, then that means your elves can just walk through. 
Sure. So I would say I would say at this team value one is kind of okay, but um, having two is really really nice. So I wouldn't have picked uh, pro over tackle on Twilight Sparkle, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, are these skills in order? Yes. Yeah, they are right. So the uh, but the lower row is first. So pro was his last skill. Yes. Yeah. So I I think that pro could have definitely been a tackle. You don't want to prioritize it too early. What I like to do is give one guy Mighty Blow, Block, then Tackle. Whereas the other guy gets Mighty Blow, Claw, uh, Piling On, Block, and Tackle. Mm -hmm. But having two, having two Tackle Killers is pretty huge. Right, so I see you've got only one Guard. And plenty of Claw. <clears throat> right, so setting up... Um, I guess I would use the tackle guy to just block the killer orc, or you could use the tackle guy to blitz uh, Hirdia over on my right flank, your left. Um, the reason for that being, you can get a lot of blocks on killer orc potentially if you start off diagonally. Whereas yeah, really Hirdia, Hirdia, you need to uh, you can only block once, so there the tackle is more likely to be effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to use. Um... Uh, Twilight Sparkle here to blitz uh, somebody. You know, actually, I wonder here who would be the best person to blitz. I mean, I guess at this point, um, just removals would be good. So yeah, but if you, if you much. it doesn't matter too much, except that your tackle guy is can can remove higher value targets because he can hit dodgers. True. So if you're not going to blitz Hirdia, then you definitely want to use your tackle guy on either Killer Orc or uh, S. Andriev. But I would be inclined to to just block those, mm -hmm. um, and then blitz uh, Hirdia uh, with your tackle, just so that you can get the higher value targets out of the way. Downside of that is that you couldn't really pile on safely there. But I would be right. pretty conservative with the tackler anyway. Something like that. Well, if you're going to blitz with him, then you're going to want to have, move him back and keep him safe because he'll be a huge target for me. Yeah, so you want him point. in a spot where uh, uh, where he's closer, so that um, after your blitz, you have more movement left to go back again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks pretty sensible. So yeah, I, I don't like putting the guy I'm going to blitz with on the line just because. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, blitz happens. One square back is fine. Oh, oh, this is kickoff return, right? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> My camera froze on it. Hi it still does that. Uh, I mean, they they fixed some of the like camera locking features, but mm -hmm. that's another bug that still remains and is pretty annoying. Especially oh. since uh, you play a lot of games with this kickoff return. Yeah. Oh, no catch, but a decent bounce for you. So one thing you might choose to do is so you've got you've got this uh, pretty good killer, Twilight Sparkle, mm -hmm. and you're gonna make a block that needs a power now. I would have probably gone for the loner with him, and then used uh, uh, a couple of guys to to shoot for a power on the on Killer Orc. Hmm. I see what you're saying. I'm gonna try this guy first. Oh, hey. That's good. You got him. And he's dead. Oh, that's a good start. Yep. <laughs> well, he was minus movement anyway. I'm just trying to help and trim some of your team house. value bloat. Um, my chat is telling me that there's a slight echo where people hear my voice um, when uh, over your audio signal, basically. Could it be that you've got me on speaker still? Uh, no, I um, I don't uh, have actually anything going on. Okay. I'll switch back and make sure that your yeah your stream is paused, and uh, I just have you on my uh, headset. Okay. Well, no worries. That's disappointing. <clears throat> I 
Well, so far, I mean, your game plan is pretty simple, right? You you mm -hmm. kill stuff, you protect your most vital players, which you are doing. Um, you do have Blodge on the ball carrier. Um, uh, I have a, um, tackle guy, though, to sack with. So, ideally, what you want here, but you can't do that now, but for future reference, is, uh, get your ball carrier in a spot where the, uh, you've got two guarders on opposite corners of your cage. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> So at this point, you're not giving me a very nice sh thing to shoot at, so that's all good. Not too appealing, so I'm probably going to focus more on getting your way. Let's I mean, see. I think from your perspective, probably the best target would be Tinky Winky or Applejack. But Where I'm is not Tinky really Winky? sure. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I'm blitzing, I'm blitzing Applejack because I can't really. I don't really feel like adding two assists there just to um, to blitz a target that uh, has armor nine anyway. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm just going to start off with getting in your way. That seems pretty sensible. And by the way, for anybody in the chat who's wondering, no, I'm not a brony. I just thought the names were hilarious. <laughs> they probably were wonderful. <laughs> Alright, so one, two, three. Yeah, you can be here afterwards, which means you can be there. But so I'm just trying to restrict your movement. Um, hope for you to screw up. Hey. Well, that's fair enough. So we are in the way. <clears throat> so one thing, so you're, you've probably seen situations like this before. And uh, what I typically do when I'm in that situation is I try to put my Chaos Warriors connected uh, while not forming corners of the cage so that everyone who is a corner of the cage can, um, can remain safe. Is that three warriors you've got? Yeah, one of them is uh, fitting this match out. Yeah, that's a pretty. So, the thing to do, probably, what I like is uh, to put my Chaos Warriors on the ones that don't have dodge, because they're they're more costly for me to uh, reconnect. Loners, especially. So, I would just go mark the two loners and the thrower with the three warriors, and then form up your cage behind that, and blitz someone more juicy like my uh, my kicker. Yeah, I was just thinking if there was any way that I could reliably surf here to you at the moment. Mm, I mean, yeah. I could, but it would be difficult, I think. Well, you need so. to fill up the square um, to his right. Right, which exactly. Is going to which be very means hard that to I would need to. to do a difficult dodge after <laughs> Yeah, that's, him, a four, that's a four plus dodge, which means yeah, it's not, that's not exactly not it. reliable. <clears throat> if it were, he wouldn't have been there. <laughs> Let's move over this way, I think. Yeah, looks fine. Yeah, so the fact that you here. move those... I would oh, probably hang, hang back one square further. Because yeah. now, now my thrower is next to your cage corner, which means... Oh, he's um, not going to be next to the cage for long. Oh, you're blitzing him. Yeah. Because, because the reason I would mark these three guys is simply because you're you're standing next to them with your warriors will cost me a lot of resources to block, which means I'll need to disconnect when I don't have dodge. So I would not be blitzing one of those three. I would well, be keeping all three of those busy. I'm using the uh, the warrior there just because he's got guard. And, mm, um, fair enough. Uh, I'm going to blitz the uh, thrower and then move my other warrior in against your um, uh, against your uh, war dancer is the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, let's put you here. Yeah, that'll do. 
will, clearly. Well, <clears throat> so as long as you keep removing one player per block, it's looking blitz, pretty good. Yeah, you're you're fine. Let's tie this guy up a little bit. Yeah, so this works fine because um, you've got guard on two spots, but the other three spots are in the tackle zone of Twilight Sparkle, which mm. means uh, he can't actually. Um, I can't cancel his assist, so he, he's effectively a guard there. Which means we're not hitting the ball this turn. So what are we doing? We're blitzing that guy. I would have preferred to see those two in opposite spots because the tackle is a target. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I don't care about your pro at all, but your tackle is something, <laughs> something I really, really want to get rid of. Yeah, he's doesn't fine. Mean, doesn't mean I get to, of course. Because <laughs> I'm playing pansies. Right, so... You're... And there. Yeah, so far, because <clears throat> the, the the tricky thing about matchups like these is um, they're only tough if your bash is slightly off. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can uh, we can still give you a hard time here. So since your tackler is down for the moment, I feel relatively safe now. So, um, chat is asking whether you could try not to breathe directly onto the mic too much. Oop, my bad. Thanks. No worries, no worries. Is this any better? Uh, I think so. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I've got the luxury of having this little screen in front of it, so that even if I talk directly into it, my breath just sort of gets moved away. Yeah. Uh, I tend to be a bit of a mouth breather when I'm concentrating <laughs> as well, so that's... A little less than ideal. Okay, so I think if you've got the the mic on a uh, uh, neck um, thing, it probably has this wire that you can bend a little bit, <clears throat> and it helps to put it a little bit be below your mouth rather than directly in front of it. it doesn't really. Right. You don't need to talk directly into it; it'll pick it up. So your guard warrior is in a good spot. Let's see here is fine. Oh, it is fine. Uh, oh shit, I have pro. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, you just like no automatic <laughs> thing. I know that one. The entire purpose of pro was just defeated. Yeah, those are those are the exact kinds of blocks that make pro a decent skill. Right. Not better than tackle, but still decent for a killer. Right, so now your garter is a bit trickier. Well, this helps. Okay, let's see. You could cancel. Yeah, I think this Everything. is pretty okay. I'm trying to figure out, out if you can one die with your tackle. Yes, I can. Let's see. So you could put a guy in between. Lala and Twilight Sparkle and Poe, and then hit there. So I suppose the best thing to do would be to put this guy right here so that you don't have that luxury. Other than that, I think that's pretty good because the only other place that you could do that would be. No, so you can't right, actually right, do that there. right now, Pinkie Pie is still uh, cancelable. <clears throat> Which means the square uh, directly on top um, and the square to your right are uh, squares I can blitz from. Right. 
The one on top mm. might be a bit tough to reach. But the I don't one... know if there's any way that I can get it so that you can't get the one down here, though. Nope, I think that's going to be pretty hard. If you move I'd for him right here, if you were to to keep him in and put the warrior out, then at the very least my one die would go into a half die on a push. Right now I can make it a oh, one right, die into a one die. Yes. So you're saying put the warrior basically where Pinkie Pie is right now, or one once we're uh, forward from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> it's it's still not going to be entirely safe. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this for right now. The thing that I like about this is that if you do manage to get the ball, there's gonna be a lot of tackle zones on it, which would yep. make a retrieval very difficult. Yeah, potentially. Very true. I do have a chain push option here, maybe. Right. So the blitz is gonna come from there. Which Who are means... you chain pushing? Uh, I would be chain pushing Applejack into Pinkie Pie. So after after I knock the ball loose, if if Pinkie Pie is in the way, I can chain push Applejack into him. I see. That is one thing I can do. So I need to be here to cancel these guys. And here to cancel these guys. Which does mean you're inviting me to get really, really connected. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> A lot of mighty blow. Yep, that it is. And... I mean, I've only removed two of your 11 players so far. That's just... That's not good <laughs> enough. So now uh, the one die goes into a one die if it's a push. Because um, <clears throat> RNG God cancels your tackle, dude. Yeah, I see and that. that means we get to try and jump in. So we slowly saunter over here. And then take the jump. And the jump is good. We take the one die. It is in fact a push, so I'm very happy that I marked those two. At the very least, saves me from having to use a reroll. <clears throat> another push. Which but you means can get another... yes hit on him. So we can. Um, it also means that that other hit will now be a two die. I could have rerolled yeah. it because it's still... Well, I've got Wrestle here, haven't I? Yeah, so there it's the same odds of takedown, actually. Now that hey. is worth rerolling. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Just nothing. That is pretty sucky. At the very least, I'm going to get my War Dancer away from your tackle dude. That seems sensible. I hate how you can't see the skills while choosing to uh, to sidestep. Oh, especially with high team value, it's it's terrible. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I've got two dice here. I might as well take it. <clears throat> well, I I got the feeling you got away with that a little bit too easily. <laughs> That's often how I feel whenever I win against wood elves, like. I didn't do it through merit. I did it through the fact that I just lucked my way into a victory. What else are just they're just tough. <clears throat> well, you know, if you've got if you've got two tacklers at this team value, your your blood sure hands guy helps a bunch, right? I mean he's he's very much built to uh to counter the uh the sacking plays. Mm-hmm. Right, so you're not gonna be freeing up your can your tackle dude probably uh you can get the skill icons to appear by hit hitting the control key uh db man <clears throat> control cycles through a number of views so this is one with the skills this is one with just the grid uh this one is with nothing this one is with player names which is really not that useful yes pro Let's go with that one. All right, <clears throat> and this one has all of these Where skills. Am I the ball here? You need to hit him. <sighs> More non-pows. Let's see. The warrior is doing this. Ah, uh, you've already blitzed. 
Let me just stay close here for the moment. <coughs> so your tackle. Ooh. Ooh. Need to re roll that one. Yeah, definitely, definitely so. So your tackle guy gets value from tackle again. I don't think you want to be piling on here because you really need him for keeping yourself safe and keep staying in control. Although it is a stun and you already have, you still have Mighty Blow for it. So you're aware, you're aware that this matters, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, yes, yeah, screw it, piling <laughs> on. I'm just uh, trying to figure out if I one thing liked that, him better uh, standing. One thing that Chaos players do a bit too often is pile on no matter what. In this case, it paid off. Right. Mm, unless I manage to steal now, of course. But you do have three guys out already, and none of them were badly hurt, so no good apple targets. Oh, oh that's, that's cute. Not good. Wow. Do that to be a push. Yeah. So. How far can this guy get? Hmm. Um, I would very much like to turn this into two dice without leaving, but I don't think that's going to work, because this is a very long way off. Yeah. So, assuming we do leap, we need someone on here, which is not going to be him. So, that would be him. Hmm. I kind of need to win this now, don't I? Before I run out of players entirely. I mean, I've removed one player per turn so far. No, not quite. I've removed 0.75 players per turn so far. Mm -hmm. Pretty close, anyway. Below par. So, this is a problem. That is a problem. I think it's just going to be a one die, actually. Because your stunned guy is still very much in the way, and I don't have the players to make it any better. I could still make it one into one there. So, let's try that again. <laughs> the jump is good. The one die is a push, but we have Frenzy. Wow. <laughs> That's uh, six dice on the ball. <clears throat> All of them five plus. Yeah. Well, it happens. Let's Maybe see. You get another one die at it with a loner. <laughs> a one die at a loner that needs a pout. Yeah. But you've, you've already used your reroll, so the loner doesn't really matter. True. True. Um, you're saying that like it's a good thing? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. If I if it's a pow, I need it in there. If it's not a pow, I'm screwed anyway. Well, here it goes. Hey, Lola Aww, does it. <laughs> how lucky can you get? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see here or there, here or there. I'm gonna go with here. Push in there, obviously. One die, pow. What a luck a noob. Yes, that's... That <laughs> is so me. Oh! What the... Ah! That's, that could as, be worse. As bounces go? <laughs> that's about as bad as it could get. Right. Can't really get next to these guys. Or next to here, either. Can't afford to foul him. I guess I can afford to go here. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, right control also works, uh, Kuma. Right. So, let's try this. Yep. <clears throat> when in doubt, pow. Yeah, I need to I need to use it at some point. I already got three guys out. Figured. Oh. I figured this was as good a time as any. <clears throat> Not sure I'd do that in a real game, but I do want to make it a little bit harder for you. So turns wise, uh things are starting to add up a little bit. Do you have the opportunity to free up free up your yeah. tackler? You do. I like this. Because then, if this is a, at least a push, pals be are better, then you can um, <clears throat> clop on the, or palm the war dancer, which you definitely, definitely want to do here. Let's see, can I make that three? Nope. Not really, no. Well, you could, but I, I don't think it's worth it. No, I'd have to use the guy that I'm planning on picking the ball up with. Yeah. Uh, it might be worth rerolling, actually. But it's your last one, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. Onto the ball seems okay. Even though I'm risking Stay him. Stay here. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's, that could be worse. For you or for me? All into the ball again. again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna go my way at some point. Hey. Oh. Nope. <laughs> oh <Ooh>. wow. <laughs> okay. So don't. Yeah, don't block the dancer was what I was going to say. <laughs> but you got that part. So you could swing around so, to make it a two die on that loner. You would need a GFI with Pinkie Pie. Yeah, I'm not that, sure. that could actually be pretty good. Let's yeah, because you, you don't want to dodge out and do a three plus pickup, I think. So you do want to watch the clock at some point. Not the, the turn clock, but the game clock. If you're looking at three turns from here mm -hmm. you're you're starting to get into a bit of a hurry hey mm. all right let's do this i don't think i would have made that gfi to be honest the thing is uh i do have tackle on your carrier so if you waste the reroll there if you use the reroll there then you might not be able to pick up mm -hmm. you're better off tr using the reroll on the dodge and then failing that go than the other way around. But it's all good. Saul Goodman. Yes, indeed, Saul Goodman. Uh, let's see. There's not really any place that's safe. This might be nope. better than most. <clears throat> yeah, not getting next to the wrestle guy, not getting next to the tackle guy are kind of priorities. Yeah, the problem is I don't know that there's a way that <laughs> near both of those guys. <laughs> Not next to them, but that's mm -hmm. about it. No, I think this might have to do. Yep. No, well, next to the next to the wrestle guy wouldn't even be all that bad, mm -hmm. because it would it would force me to use my movement nine dancer I at least to have some cancellations. Exactly. So now, if he stands up, he cancels uh, uh, a lot there. Mm -hmm. Whereas if yeah. However, the squares, <clears throat> the squares that he cancels are actually um, protected by Rainbow Dash, whom I cannot reach. Mm -hmm. So a straight blitz from where I am doesn't actually give me much. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Plus, I do have a. Uh tackle guy on your war dancer so yes I think I'm now forced <clears throat> to try three plus rules mm. 
This guy's just gonna stay here for defense if need be. So the good thing about this play is that if it's a push, at least I get to tackle you with a half die. Mm. I think this is the play I have to make now. 3 plus 2 mm. plus with a wrestler who doesn't need wrestle <laughs> because pals. Oh, lucky. Mm, luckier than this, definitely. <laughs> hey! Hello. Now I'm annoyed with your garter. <laughs> now I'm very annoyed with your garter. Dare I half die this? Well, or I don't can have I... dodge. Yeah. Not that it matters with your tackle. Yeah. Can't go into a one die either if it's a push because my garter is sleeping. Nah, screw it. Last reroll. Nope. <clears throat> now you got him. With Mighty Blow. Ah, he's fine. Okay, let's okay see so since you're in a hurry, you probably want to move uh, to your left and forward. <clears throat> I was thinking to the right. Because I already have a guy based with... Uh, well, two of your loners based on the right side, so those guys are going to be removed. And most of my strength is over here. That's true. However, uh, going left would mean not blitzing my war dancer. That's a good point. I do want and to blitz your war dancer. Yeah. So, so I was thinking, if you get rid of the war dancer, then my threat on that side is a lot less. And uh, it would mean blitzing with the ball carrier, but you've got a reroll. And well, I don't. Push. I don't necessarily have to blitz with the ball carrier. I mean, I have pro on the other guy. This is a poor man's mm. tackle. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think I think your odds of taking a bludger down with Frenzy are better than with Pro, actually. I'd have to run the stats, but... I would oh, certainly. That. I mean, Pro only works half the time. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so... Probably want to get somewhere around here-ish. On the other side. I, I try to get further, because you've only got two turns after this. Right. I think you really want to prioritize uh, distance moved. Which mm -hmm. means blitz, blitzing, no matter what you're blitzing, before you try and move your cage. Simply because it gives you more more uh, movement diagonal, basically. Mm -hmm. The biggest problem with that is that your garter is down here. You can pick him up and then he can be part of the uh, <clears throat> assault for the next time. Whereas if I go on the unless, other side... Unless you foul him before that. Yeah, I mean, I do have... On players, but then again, you're down to eight, so that's a good... Yeah, and you've got dirty player. That's what it's that's for, true. right? You could, uh, so once you've moved your cage and you're already kind of secure, you mm -hmm. could also block off my loner and then bring in an extra guy. Okay, just to push. <clears throat> so now, now you really already want to know how far everyone can get. So your garter could be next to so your your prone guy could be next to my garter. Your warrior could be one square further. Let's see. So this guy can get to right about there. I could go here. Yeah, that looks perfect. So I would be using your um, better players. So for instance, the uh, Twilight Sparkle as the uh, left side of your cage. Oh, that's oh wait, no, never mind. My bad. Um, because because he's he's someone I would like to kill. So putting him in the back of the cage means he's protected. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then the warrior can assist your... Oh, wait. You don't actually feed those up. My bad. My bad. <clears throat> I, uh, I missed that. This I still had my uh, kicker there. Mm-hmm. It's not terrible, though. Hey! That frees him up. So your Agility 4 is now free. Exactly. 
Oh, this looks uh, this looks pretty solid, I have to say. The guard guy is not quite marginalized. <laughs> yeah, you could also. The, I mean, the, the guard guy is not going to help the assault much, so you could even consider fouling the d dancer. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. But. Too late. Justice done. Justice done. Right, so I've got four guys I can really use. They're going to be here and here. I guess then. Yeah, I think you've got my numbers down enough that I am not going to be able to stop this. Unless I assume that this is going to work like that. Which would mean him being here. So my, I, I, what I do here is basically I let my sidestep guys um, count as a whole column rather than half a column. Mm-hmm. Simply because I don't have enough to make a to make it full, right? And it's still not going to be enough. Oh well, definitely not. <laughs> Would you mind if I just lie down there? <laughs> yes, that is correct, uh, Kumo. So uh, at the moment, I'm still charging uh, ten euros an hour uh, if uh, people do it on stream. And if they want to do it off stream, then it's actually 15. Ooh, that would have been a bad misclick. Oh, I didn't see it, but I'm sure it would have been. No, this is fine. Oh, pro, though. No, that's okay. I, I just needed a push, and the problem with pro is that if I... You can't reroll again. <laughs> right, yes. if I reroll yeah. a non turn ending thing. And uh, it ends up costing me. That you would could suck. opt for further forward. Well, it would be a GFI. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get my cage up here. And uh, the goal then is to. Um, So give, given the player count and my position, it doesn't matter too much, but I think I would have tried for uh, for further up. Well, I'm thinking more long term. I mean, I have your... Um... Oh, uh, hold on just one sec. Yeah, sure hey. thing. We'll do. Sorry about that. My roommate no just... Worries. Uh came in to give me a cupcake because she's That's awesome. nice. Hello, roommate. <laughs> Alright, so I think that... Uh, You've got your three die already? Yeah. What I'm going to do is hit this guy, hopefully get him down. Yes. Yep. That seems to have worked just fine. I'm going to go out here. <clears throat> Follow here. And then... Oh, there he comes! And guy. the dodge guy takes a beating. Yeah, sure thing, Slack Games. Always welcome to come watch, which is which is why I, I like to also stream the teaching games. Oh, no, that's cute. Poor Pinkie Pie. Well done, Ref. ref well done. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got? We've got no rerolls, so this guy can be a ignoring threat. Because, of course, I'm going to score at this drive. Let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 5, 6... Ha... Huh. Can I cancel this at all? I can't.
can actually. I was expecting you to keep uh, Lala um, <clears throat> in a spot where I couldn't cancel him. Hmm. Yeah, I see. <clears throat> so now I can go here. But yeah, no. there can be one die there. Yeah, that's the reasoning. So I guess the catcher is probably better for that. Because seven, eight. So the catcher has sprint and sure feet, so he's probably better able to get places depending on where the bounce is. Well, here it goes. Drum roll, right. please. All right, you've got your drum roll. That's the dodge reroll gone. And we're gonna go jump. Jump's good. No, no dodge on this guy. Ah, oh, wow. wow, wow. That could be worse. Yes, he could be dead. So this is how you beat what else? <laughs> Let's see if I can get any safe three die blocks here. Yes, I absolutely can. So let's get. I really don't mind. So kick is is not as crucial for chaos as it is for agility teams. Uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't prioritize it. And <clears throat> on a dirty player whom you don't want to fire yet until you have a new one, I can kind of see kick for a while. Kick off return, I actually like. On a ball carrier who's already got a jelly four blood sure hands, I think kickoff return is fine because quite often the way you win is you two to one grind someone, and kickoff return helps a lot with that. So no, I think it's a, it's a fine pick actually. My uh, <clears throat> that was interesting. Oh, well, I guess feel... I'm not going to hit anybody else. How do you feel about making some more blocks? Maybe without the block <laughs> skill. Maybe a one die here or there. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm teaching you. No, of course you don't block. I should just yeah. go for the score. Yes, definitely so. I was considering fouling your war dancer just because it's funny, but... Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think, I think uh, uh, kickoff return is a very solid pick on your dedicated carrier. Um, I do think the pro was uh, a bit off. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I think I think I think one dodge on your dedicated carrier is perfect for chaos. <clears throat> you either want one dodge or a dodge on everyone, and the the one dodge option is definitely better. So I guess I assume you wouldn't take dodge on your warriors on on different. Um, no, I mean? actually had. Uh doubles on a warrior uh, a while back and I decided to give him a jump up to go with mm -hmm. his uh, claw mighty blow and diving tackle okay diving tackle hmm yeah I, 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 I had a chaos team with all four warriors with diving tackle it was a ton of fun but I mm. wouldn't recommend it I mean uh, I would recommend it if you're looking for fun in different teams <clears throat> if you really want control then um, tentacles actually work Pretty well too. Yeah, I was hoping to get a um, strength five warrior so that I'd, uh, get um, tentacles and have them be more effective. But I just didn't like the idea of a strength four warrior with tentacles. It just felt like it would. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 less ideal, of course. Yeah. So for anti one turn setups, I would. Ex so you've got these wings, like the the one beastman on the side here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would extend those to two squares back. Like so? Yeah. Although not with your clop on. Right, yeah. I'm just <laughs> because, trying to figure yeah. out. So then the inside B. Be... Um one thing you could do is put the the dirty player one forward and the jelly four one forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. And those this means the Twilight Sparkle could actually go Let's see, do we want him one forward? No, that's kinda silly. You could put them you could put them out one square. The uh the tackle and the jelly four. I think this works fairly well. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at one turn, so... At, at doing a one turn, so defending against mm -hmm. a one turn, I'm just absolutely dreadful at. Right, let's see how I manage. So... In this case, I've got Guard here, I've got Frenzy there. Uh, is that going to be enough, though? Because... So your guard is in a great spot. That mm -hmm. that helps a bunch. Throwers out. So I need two pushes on this guy. Mm -hmm. Can I get rid of him at all? So what would you say your plan would be, just high level, for the one? Uh, sorry, you, you dropped that there for a moment. For the? Oh, for the one turn here. Well, I'm currently looking at the option of starting out with a frenzy block instead of a blitz, but your garter kind of screws that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Could do it on him, actually. That might work. So we'd be going at this, and then he'd be here. Let's see. So I block him in there. Two. Yeah, the strength two is a problem though. Because my guarder is my strength two, he's in the wrong spot, whatever I do. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five. Okay, do I have that? Not root, not yet. I would if I go here and here. So then I'd be able to block him there, and then I would still need someone here, so he'd be there. Don't have a reroll, so I might as well do it like this. These just need pushes. Yeah, I can bring him in afterwards, so that's good. Hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, the plan is, since my first blitz is going to be pretty tough anyway, I try and start off with a block with the frenzy. Push your um, guard guy one to the side and then in. And then swing... Uh, my kicker around to fill up the square that I need. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. <clears throat> make the first block, he goes there. And then make the second block, he goes there. So next to your uh, flutters shy, which is why mm -hmm. those wings are there, right? It means right. that even, even after I make two pushes outside, I'm still in a tackle zone. I see. And it also makes it harder getting around there, filling that up, if I have more players to actually do so. So it actually case, helps here, too. Uh, in this case, would you be passing to uh, your catcher before, or uh, doing handoff to your catcher before doing any of the blocks, or yes. would you wait until... Okay. Yes. I would, because um, I'm going to be in a tackle zone all the time anyway. No. And uh, this is the ideal time to do so. <clears throat> in fact, it might, I might even be able to put my dancer in there to fill up that square that I need to do anyway, depending on the kick, but that's going to be tough because you do have the kick skill. Alright, let's try this. So I do think this setup where you spread your guys out two squares, uh, so so there's two squares apart, one square between, is uh, pretty solid. However, against Frenzy, it might not be all the best option. Oh, that's a very, very nice kick, actually. Right, so this needs two pushes. But I don't do that now because then you're in two tackle zones. So first I go here and oh, I can't schedule that because he doesn't have the ball in his hands yet. The pickup is a dud. All right, so much for that. 
Will. Yeah, so the, the one space between players is uh, a a good way to make sure that you can't uh, I can't push via you um, and after my blitz you're still not in an ideal spot so I think that's um, that's definitely sensible uh, if you're faced with frenzy I would be more inclined to space them two squares apart because after the frenzy push so the first one pushes you to the side the second one pushes you in and then the square that I want to block you into has the um, has the next guy in it. See what I mean? I guess it's kind of hard to explain. <clears throat> so the, the bunched up one is pretty ineffective unless you've got exactly enough strength and stuff to, to make it next to impossible. But you would need at least two more guards to make that work. Mm. <clears throat> Do you notice anything wrong with your current setup? I'm just going to make it an open question for now. Good job. Still there? Oh, sorry. I had hey, you hello. muted uh, oh, accidentally. Okay, that's that's interesting. Despite <laughs> yeah, don't, being don't mind me, yeah. I'm just uh... <laughs> despite being in IT for about 20 years, I still can't get the hang of computers. Anyway, what I was yeah. uh, is that um, since you're going to want to score twice uh, this half, you're probably going to want to get a touchdown within the first two or three turns here. That's, Which means that's assuming that, I'm playing for the win and not settling for the tie, of course. Yeah, but I mean, I, I kind of have to assume the worst, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I'm thinking about here is that you have a fairly easy time blitzing one of these two wings down uh, mm -hmm. and then just getting past. Um, but at the very least, I do have my tackle sort of uh, safe in the center here. Yeah, so that's not exactly what I was getting at when I was asking, do you notice anything wrong with this setup? Mm. If you look at your right flank, mm -hmm. you'll notice Twilight Sparkle is quite a good player. Right. And you'll also, no also notice that my War Dancer has Frenzy. Mm. Yeah, that's a good so point. So if you set up like this, I've got a 3 plus dodge into a 2 die, 2 die push kill on him. So if you're going to set up like this, uh, the guy there needs to be expendable. And you don't really have those? Yeah, I don't. That's the biggest problem. Um, I mean, I could, I could go something like this, but he's still open to... Yeah, blitz, now he's open which... to just regular blitzes, but at least he's not getting surfed. Probably. That's a good point. Doing a regular blitz on Twilight Sparkle wouldn't be so bad since I have an Apothecary, and since it doesn't really get you past the uh, defenses Personally, there. Personally, I would I would probably be more inclined to uh, leave him protected mm, and uh, accept that I'm going to get past you on one of the flanks. Mm -hmm. You could also, yeah, so people are saying, Noanto is saying, put the kicker there. I don't know. I mean, I, I would still want the kick in the middle somewhere. I would yeah. probably just stay bunched up a little bit more. And just accept that you're going to give up the flanks, right? Because if I score quickly, you're going to two to one grind me. Also, time. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. I mean, I right. I, I realize that there are certain problems with it that are easily evident, but I kind of like having the guys spread out a little bit so that I can respond in a bunch of different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. So let's see, you go there. Guard guy doesn't have sidestep, that's a pain. Mm hmm. Go here. 
So you are there. And you are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to block down your three warriors, <laughs> obviously. Right. I guess you kind of, uh, kind of knew that. <laughs> That's why they're there. Yes. So, wait, this doesn't work. What am I thinking? This was the plan. And then this one there. This one So I'm assuming here. that you decided on the side that you did um, on the line of scrimmage simply because Twilight Sparkle is on my right side here. Yes, so I need to get uh, uh, Tinky Winky out of the way so right. that I can surf Twilight Sparkle. Mm. If if you want to do this setup, I would I put see what you're gonna do. All, yeah, you're gonna all of them one square back, just so right. that uh, you don't give up this opportunity. Yeah, I missed that. So he goes here. He blocks there. He blitz, misses there. Wait, does that work? Yes, that does work because he's leaving. Okay. <clears throat> now the downside of this play is that. I need my sidestepper here, I need my garter there. Um, I need... I don't need him. I can swap this around, actually. That's fine. <clears throat> I'd rather carry with the blodge and surf with the uh, wrestle. That makes sure. more sense. Right, the downside here has just been alleviated. Excellent. <laughs> <clears throat> Too bad it's not the tackle guy, but hey. Can't win them all, right? High kick, that's nice. <laughs> a blitz here would have been kind of devastating-ish. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're uh, if you've got these kinds of numbers, then uh, blitzes do kill teams. Right. So first off, get rid of this guy. Well, that'll have to do for now. I will follow that. There we go here. <clears throat> so I do need to cancel the assist from uh, Applejack on the follow-up block. So that's why we've got this sidestep guy here. Seems sensible. Mm -hmm. Otherwise I'm just going to get served. I do think I need to protect the ball before I go into this because I might use a reroll there and be threatened. So, so yeah, if your if your uh, uh, sideline wings were two squares back still mm -hmm. rather than one, then this would not be possible. Let's see if we make it. Yeah, screw it. Ah! <laughs> So this, if you see these block results, this is why Juggernaut is so good on a surfer. Right. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Or pro, one actually. Very, uh, one of the very few times when I'm happy that the opponent gets a power on my guy. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Well, at least I've marginalized him a little bit. So what I've given you here, no, never mind. I was going to say I gave you a chain push, but you can't get into there because of this guy. Nope. You're so good. <clears throat> right. I would be all over that flank. Yeah. I'm you want to make to, sure uh, that put you're a bunch uh, of guys in contact. Yeah. So what you definitely want to do is make sure you've got at least one guy near the middle, preferably two. Mm-hmm. Um, because if you, if you completely crowd around me here, then, uh, I'm definitely going to change sides. Sure. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that the squares that Bjorn Rockfist can reach with three GFIs, for instance, or that, uh, uh, Skitsunio can reach with the leap are still covered because otherwise, uh, I'm just going to run past you. So I think, uh, where, where Fluttershy is now is... Not bad, because it does make it harder for me to switch sides. But I would definitely also be watching your backfield. Mm -hmm. 
because that's where I want to go, and if I manage, then that's a problem. Yeah, I'm keeping rarity back for just that reason. I think I might, Rex. I think I might, yeah. <laughs> You are a war dancer, Skitsunio, on this team. <clears throat> and you got plus movement. I would, Rex. If you have the goal, then he's for carrying, and plus movement is great for carriers. So, yeah, you made this into four. Uh, I would be considering putting your guard in there to make this a five plus. So, sorry, to make this five, so a three die on the catcher. See what I mean? Um, oh, oh, I see. Yes. Because right like, now you've got two dice. Right. You put an assault, an assist in there that you didn't need yet, and now That's it's three point. dice. And then that gives me the ability to. <clears throat> well, one of those guys' dice was uh, not as bad as the others. Mm. Um, I'd consider it. I don't think I'd, I'd reroll, but I'd consider it. I was considering. Yeah, so if I had gone here, then you could theoretically have served me. Now it's just impossible. I'm wondering if I should, I think, end in tears for me. If you should what? Blitz with uh, Twilight Sparkle, or just leave him down. But... Ah, uh, yeah, that might end in tears. <laughs> <clears throat> you could have actually picked uh, both down, wrestled. Then That's a really would, good point. I did not. My guy would that. be down, and you would be uh, back on the ground and safe. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. I I thought of it too late, to be honest. I saw the results, and I was like, "Hey, wait a minute! Didn't you want to be on the ground?" <laughs> Right, so your garter is good, though. Yeah, at least it's robbing those guys of an assist. Yeah, well, but it's... You do it's also have a garter of your this... own. Yeah. However... That would expose your bulk carrier. Just so. So now... Fluttershy is actually doing a good job. I'm really annoyed that uh, Beagles has Frenzy. <clears throat> he does also have Sidestep, though. Yeah, I'm going to go for that Surf now. Because if he didn't have Frenzy, then I'd only need to push here, and then I could have a POW afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now I actually need two pushes, which I get. And, and then... Ball carrier Surf? Yes. I'll carry your tablets for the surf. There we go. Uh, so I've got a question from Nanto. When would you consider just not setting up against the one turn and just put you guys near the end zone to force the dodges? Well, so a couple of reasons uh, for that work out. Uh, one would be that um, I have a fragile team and they've got... Um, They've got a lethal one, basically. That's definitely a factor. Uh, so self-preservation. The other is the uh, relative likelihood of them succeeding in the one turn. <clears throat> if I know that it's not very likely to work, then I'm not very inclined to uh, to dedicate my guys to stopping it. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. How about we go to four six there? That's a good spot. And you know what? Since we've got sure feet, we have sure feet, do we not? Oh. Yep, that's sure feet. There we go. Ah, sure feet worked. Splendid. Hmm. None of these options are especially appealing. So just roll sixes. <laughs> or fours. And fives. There we go. That's the way. No. 
Um, <clears throat> against a movement 10 gutter with no sprint, uh, I would um, definitely set up to try and prevent the pushes, or at least try and make sure that the pushes don't land him somewhere useful. Um, because if, um, if the first push is possible, but the sprint guy gets into a spot where he can't easily get there, that's probably still worthwhile, but it also de really depends on the on the players you have, the amount of guard you have, the um, whether you have two or three or one or zero stand firms and stuff. I mean, if you've got a stand firm or a sidestep on one flank, and you've got enough guard to make it a half die on the other flank, then just make sure he doesn't get that push. If you're convinced he's going to get the push anyway, then make him roll the backfield dodges. If he's got something like uh, two heads, then the backfield dodges become a lot less scary. If you have... Uh, one thing I really like is if you've got, um, what is it, five tentacles or diving tackles, then you can actually lock down the backfield very, very well. <clears throat> Especially with, uh, with, uh, with tentacles against the gutter. It's just splendid. And pals. Right. I'll take two of those. Yes. I will too. See? <laughs> I can take him just fine. Hmm. So I could get a 3 plus pass into the end zone. Might be willing to do that. My journeyman is in a bad spot, though. I might need to do this. Right. So I am going to go for the quick score because it's uh, more fun. It's well, also, also risky. Also, I'm not leaving you a lot of choice. Yeah, well, I, I, I could try and stall this a little bit, but I don't think it's uh, the best idea. Mm-hmm. There, just a dodge. Um, yeah, so that's a three plus no matter what. So you don't have to think about how did those odds compare again? I always forget. Uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Given how I have hatched as well, <laughs> and you know. It's kind of an important place to not throw the ball into the crowd. All right. The Chaos Cuddle Club. I do like it. Yeah, I went with... Uh, uh, oh, what's the... What's the... Teletubbies. I went with Teletubby names on mm. the uh, Chaos Warriors. And uh, then... Um, the my little pony names on all the uh, horsey men. <laughs> so I guess and you're then I, missing uh, Dipsy. Uh, yeah, and then at one point I also had Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> oh <laughs> man! Oh, I hate that thing. <laughs> did you did you did you hear this story about the guy who was in a? Uh, people thought he was completely um, brain dead, or well, not brain dead, but uh, um, com completely. Um, not there anymore and it turns out that he was actually just locked in and fully aware and intelligent and so the people in his in his home actually put him in front of the tv and had him watch barney the dinosaur all day every day for a decade or so i don't even think that we torture isis members that badly <laughs> no i know right that's it's, terrible it's it's it, yeah it made, it made me whenever i i think of barney the dinosaur <laughs> i think of that guy <laughs> and i just feel so bad <laughs> it's uh yeah right so only three guys out and i even managed to remove one of yours with my balls <laughs> uh right so expendable problem Ah, uh, my one turn t has already happened anyway. Or not happened, rather. Guard guy, tackle guy, movement guy. Yeah. 
Um, so what I often like to do, Noamto, is actually give Dodge as the first skill because they all want it anyway. And then you can decide for the whether they get block or wrestle afterwards based on... Um, <clears throat> nice, uh, dead man. Good to hear it. Um, so you choose the second skill for the what else? Uh, based on whether um, you've got a doubles by then or a stats. So, for instance, if you give... If you roll doubles at 16 star player points, then you'll either take Mighty Blow or Guard. <clears throat> Most people will take Guard. I kind of agree, except if you want piling on on a Wood Elf team, it's going to be on Lyman. So that was my reason for Mighty Blow. Um, but if he, if, he, if he gets doubles, then you want Block. And if he doesn't, doesn't get doubles by 16 star player points, then you can still take... Um, <clears throat> take Wrestle. That's that's why I'd often go with Dodge first. You want to go all meds? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like a splendid idea. Right. Figured it doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, I'll go all men's away from your <laughs> killers. How's that? Is that roughly what you were looking for? Actually, you know what? You can have this guy. And then I'll go over here. <laughs> and over there. Where are you going, coward? Come back here. <laughs> this is not cowardice. This is prudence. <laughs> Discretion being the better side of valor One, two, and all that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's still a long way off, though. Hmm. It's a... This is tricky, because you're going to knock them down, and this is going to be exposed. What's Yikes. the plan? All right, all right, we'll go with, we'll go with this one. Self-preservation is paramount at any Thank cost. Thank you, Scutinio. Yes. Um, USC Deadman, for orcs, definitely Mighty Blow. Definitely Mighty Blow. Your Black Orcs want Block and Guard as their first skills. Your Orc Blitzers want Mighty Blow and Tackle on one, Mighty Blow and Piling on on another. And they will get Guard at some point, but since they're the guys you're Blitzing with, they're the guys you want to kill with. And getting a couple of Mighty Blow there early is crucial. You could even opt for a Tackle on one before Mighty Blow, but I would go Mighty Blow first because it just accelerates the rate at which you gain Star Player Points. Yeah, see, wrestle guy, that's why he's there. Or dodge guy in this case, rather. Figured if I was going to give you easy blocks, they should be. <clears throat> hmm, yeah, that works. I would consider moving Fluttershy back a little bit so that if something goes wrong, at right. least... At least Princess Luna isn't all by herself. Yeah, I wasn't going to take that block until uh, I'd made some other decisions, but... Okay, yeah, sure. So, not blessing with the tackle. That's score one for me. Well, the tackle couldn't really get there too well. Yay! Placing him there instead of the loner is paying off as well. And now you can't get there at all anymore. It's true. Ah. I think I'll probably so, just do this. So what I do if I lack tackle um, is I'll often say, okay, if I'm if I don't have tackle, I'll just target the scrubs. I'll target the those few guys that don't have dodge. So for instance, if you're playing against a wood elf team where seven players have blodge and four don't, I would just kill those four first if I lack tackle, because after that uh, you outnumber them so much better that things be you get more options basically. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, you're hanging back there. Yeah, I figure you, uh... I'm out of the range of your war dancer. You can still base me, but the catcher is strength too, so... And if you do base me with him, then I have an opportunity to hit him with tackle, potentially depending on whether or not you also base the tackler. I'm but not I could easily get three dice on him. I'm not going to base the tackler. <laughs> yeah, I figured that that would be an unpalatable thing to do. Oh, that's that's because I've got other plans for him. 
I'm going to kill the tackler. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? There. So yes, I am going to base him. Oh, there we go. Sure feet doing a thing. And then we're going to go here. So now disrupting your cage is a really a priority for me. Let's see. Can I manage this? Nope. So I'll go... Wait. Blitz. There. First dodge does not use dodge skill, which means if I want to make the frenzy, I need to do this. Second one isn't snake, so that's good. Yay, frenzy. Actually, if I put him here, then I can also base that guy on the... Jeez! <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> uh, so I'm going to kill the... Wait, 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 that's not working, is it? <clears throat> Alright. Balls to the walls. Let's see there. Oh, that's not snakes. Good. All right. So in that case, I want to be here. And this guy doesn't have sure feet, so he can be there. Four, five, six. Yikes. Just a bit of noise there. Okay, yeah, I really don't like the sound of the word Raj for wrestle and dodge. It's it just Roger sounds <laughs> yeah, it just sounds so awful. When you write it, it looks kind of okay. When I'm when I'm when I'm typing about about player uh, skill combinations, uh, I'll type Raj and then think yeah sure. But when you, when you try and pronounce it Raj, it just sounds wrong. So yeah, there is that. <clears throat> Yeah, so one thing I I consider about um, the effectiveness of claw palm, and uh, this is this is no uh, I I don't want to say anything about your coaching because I think you're playing them fine, but in general um, I find that the the claw palm type teams their performance is a lot less related to the coaching skill of whoever's playing them. So I find that for instance if if uh, a relatively poor coach and a great coach would both play a claw team, then the great coach would have like a 60% win record and the relatively poor one would have a 40% win record. Mm -hmm. And then when you do um, <clears throat> when you do something like a, a, a good lizard team, all of a sudden the great coach would have 95 and and the poor coach would have five so in terms of the 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 amount of effect you can have with your coaching on the outcome is uh relatively low for chaos i find or well for clop on chaos anyway so in terms of uh, the, the reason i bring this up is because i feel like um when i'm trying to tell you like okay you should do this or you could do that it's often quite stating the obvious but that that's that's related to this fact you pick a good target and then you kill it mm -hmm. so you don't want to be making this last block yeah i was just you wondering about that one definitely don't because if there's one guy i would like to get next to your um your ball carrier it's the guy you would be blocking and right. even even if you knock him down but you don't break armor then yeah, I, you can you still can, jump yeah. up and hit him exactly well yeah yes so this looks this looks like it's got potential yeah i'm not satisfied with how this turns well, the good news for you is I don't have a reroll. And that you do have to tackle. That I can't remove, really. So I might as well just leap then. Okay, so if this works, we might actually be winning. That would be fun. <laughs> I 
Blodge and Rog sounds like the sound your player's bodies fa make when those skills fail. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think this guy will be a safety. <clears throat> so I'm coming from the inside and blitzing out. So that makes sense. Oh, it's good again. And now it's two dice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yo, that's good. That's good. Uh, so I guess here it has less chance of bouncing into my hands. And other than that, doesn't really matter all that much. It does bounce into your sphere of influence, so I'll need a three. But that's okay, because I'm gonna roll a two. <clears throat> Interesting. Right. Where's your tackler? What are you? Your tackler is cuddling my war dancer, but you can get rid of that dancer, actually. I would definitely want to bring my tackler in. Yeah. Okay, so I think getting rid of this guy, this is a killer orc, and getting rid of that guy are my priorities, so let me see. I think I would try and um, block the guard guy, blitz the dancer, and then try and set up a three die on... Oh, yeah. Mm. Oops. That's not good. Do it again. Hey, I like those. Those little yellow symbols. Mm, I'm immune. Look, I am in... Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Okay, so... You... Want to hit... Now, let me see. Am I going to want to hit the dancer, though? The dancer funny. is not currently on the ball. Yeah, that's that's true. You could just blitz the... Uh, actually, you blitz your catcher. Given the turns, yeah, probably. Yeah, you. if you want to win this, you'll need to move like hell. Oddly enough, I do. The, the reason the reason I mentioned the Dancer is because he's got Tackle on your ball carrier. Right. But, yeah, you... But it is, I mean, it is uh, just a 2 plus for me to get uh, past. I did use my team reroll, though, which sucks. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's okay. <laughs> Do I think it's good to help Chaos Coaches skill up? Um, it is if they've paid me for it, sure. <laughs> but really, I think I think um, I have been advising Chaos Coaches to try out different teams as well. Oh, this guy again. He really wants the ball, doesn't he? Yeah. I know that I'm putting him next to your dancer, but I really don't want him to be too away from the sideline there. I mean, I've been I've been telling Drayson to uh, to pick up uh, lizards and have a go with them. So that's a, a gentle step in the right direction. I'm, I, as you probably know, I'm uh, I'm not really much of a bash coach. I'm much more of an elf coach. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna hit that. Oh. Do you want to follow up here, though? Hmm. I guess you didn't need to. No, I'd like to keep him here just because it makes it harder for you to get uh, an effective hit on my ball carrier. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> Given that I have two players or maybe three. Yep, definitely two players <laughs> this turn. <laughs> well, with only three elves, I think I have a chance here. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I didn't say I know that I have a chance. Not three elves, yes. Right, so he's going to go... I can get a one die into a half die. So if he's here, then I need to cancel this guy. 
can do. Just means I need to go here. <clears throat> the 3 plus dodge is actually better than the 2 plus GFI. Because of dodge skill. And now I blitz and I take this guy down. There. See? <laughs> Nothing to it. That works. And the ball... goes... Uh, yeah, I can That's do that. Set up my leap. Jump. Oh. Oh, well, that was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Good thing I've kept my secure defense in the backfield because... <laughs> right. So the first thing I would do if I were you so is move... No, no, no. The first thing I would do is move up, move up Tinky Winky, and move up Sweetie Bell, just so that if you screw oh, something yes. else up, at least you've got a scoring threat for the turn after. Because yes, <laughs> if, if you screw up now, you're uh, you're really gonna hate yourself for not doing so. <clears throat> also, this is the time to start thinking about pitch clears, of course. Well, I'm always thinking about pitch clears. I'm chaos after all. <laughs> yep. That you are. Oh, okay. The one down and three to go at the turn. Well, you're not going to get all of them, maybe. Probably. Certainly. Can't foul more than once. Damn those rules. Oh, you actually used up your agility four to do the surf, though. Yeah, the agility four was going to be too far away run it in himself anyway, so I figured I would take uh, Sweetie Bell and use him. It's harder to pick it up, but I do have one reroll left, and if I succeed, then I don't have to make any handoffs or anything of that mm. nature. Yeah, I think I would have gone for the Agility 4. Just because, um, not just the pickup, but also if you need to move the ball for further, he can actually pass on a 2+. plus. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not plan A, but <clears throat> it would have prevented this. Right. And so now you've got only one guy who can run it in, and you're still going to have to rely on that passing play now. No more reroll. You've got two turns, though. So if you fail it, you can still do something. Uh, I'd have to give you the chance to do so first, which I'm not planning on doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Three elves is enough. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is a plan. So we blitz. There. There. Perfect. <clears throat> so now I could dodge out already. Yeah, let's live a little. <laughs> there we go. See? Nothing to it. Just a little 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. There we go. Who needs rerolls? Oh, I can't throw it that far. That kind of sucks. It's always hard to estimate with the diagonals. If I'm here, I can throw. If I'm here, I cannot. <laughs> That's interesting. Um... Nope, still too far. Alright, maybe you shouldn't have been there then, you idiot. And uh, right, so where's your tackler? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got sidestep. Well, 
well, this was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think in this case, I mean, uh, betting on the one in nine or on the eight out of nine is, is usually not that bad. But if you don't have to, I think... I think it could be an issue. So one thing I would definitely do again before you do anything else mm -hmm. is move your warrior square. The Tinky Winky uh, just so he's already he's already in range. Tinky Winky. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I you already moved him. But right, never mind. First thing I did. Yeah, I was looking at the GFI thing instead of the uh, the range. Yeah. Okay, good. So the first thing you sure. want to do is the first thing you did, which is good. <laughs> uh, damn, I, I can't get three dice on that guy. That's pretty annoying. Yep. <clears throat> and okay. you also can't surf him unless you do a five plus dodge. Actually, you then. can. You could. You could surf him. With a four plus dodge, if you put your uh, um, agility four blodge guy in the square that you can't really reach otherwise. I see what you're saying. Well, it might be worth a one, shot. Two, it's a GFI there. One, two, three. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, it's six. GFI there. Two, three, four, hmm. five, six, seven. So two GFIs, a 75% dodge. It's kind of cool, though. That's a, that's, <laughs> a, that's a fun play. Well, there's worse reasons for doing things. There we go. A two and a four. Perfect. Of course, if the ball goes... Oh. <laughs> oh, well. At least it's a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Alright. Alright. So, yeah, I kind of have to do this now, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, I do want to see him explode. No, oh, he's fine. This is not Sparta. <laughs> Uh, so if I go here, then that's then a, fail a one in thirty-six. If it's here, it's also yeah. So this would actually not get me any better odds. I'm just trying to see whether going from so you know that you can actually see how far the pass is based on the uh, uh, rings on the players. I watch your stream. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I do point this out on occasion. Um, well, here it goes. If I fail this, you can still win. I can. I do so have that Kanori threat. 4 plus it's pass into a 35 out of 36 catch. Oh, anyone can roll sixes. <laughs> and now snake it. Well done. <laughs> thank you, thank you. See, this is why, this is why Claw Poem is not overpowered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Claw is definitely not overpowered against Wood Elves. That is not very true. Guys, no. Yeah, if, if, both, if all your Claws had been Tackles, this would have been so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, the game has a very rock, paper, scissor dynamic to it, of course. If My favorite against... moment was when I, um, when I uh, Claw Palmed a tree that had plus armor, and the guy insta conceded. conceded. That was just, <laughs> that was fantastic. Um, I don't think you can give uh, plus armor to a tree, though. They start mm -hmm. off with 10, and the uh, mine doesn't go to 11? Does it not? No, you're not allowed huh. to increase any stat over 11, which is why uh, a gutter runner with plus movement can't take another plus movement, which is why they need sprint. Yes. <laughs> they did actually uh, have a bug where the AI did this in, on a team, because apparently it's not constrained by the same rules, but they mm -hmm. fixed that, I think. You know what? If you want them, come get them. <laughs> yes, yeah, relatively meaningless, perhaps. Uh, sure. I'll be here and there. Since you, uh, I heard you like killing stuff. <laughs> it's like exhibit. Yo, dog. Exactly. I heard you like exactly. killing stuff. So I put some wood elves into your lineups. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's funny. I was uh, I was playing Dungeons Dragons today, uh -huh. and uh, uh, I was I showed them the uh, the Nurgle videos that I made, 
And uh, my friend said, you know, it sounds like you're you're uh, trying to speak more uh, in a sophisticated manner. Your 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 English sounds much more uh, upper class somehow than it used to, <laughs> and also a bit more British. And I find that while while talking to you. Um, I'm already adopting a more American accent again. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> really weird how that works. Ooh, quick snap, more blocks. So is that where you're from then? Uh, I'm from Amsterdam. Oh. I, I guess I always assumed that you were American. You just have a <laughs> sort of American sounding accent. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Uh, yeah, I've, I, I have heard that before. It's, um... Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm a European, which is also why the time zone thing gets a bit complicated at times. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, this last round of blocks is going splendidly so far. Uh, yeah, well, I, at least I'm <laughs> I'm doing my best to give you more of them. <laughs> uh, I'm not playing another match tonight. No, it's one a.m. where I'm at, and I should definitely. Be oh, some sleep. pro again. Oh, well. <laughs> well, there's no SPP coming from this anyway, so... Nah, true enough. True enough. So, I am going to just... To go for it to get into your tackle zone. Right, go for it to get out of your tackle zone. <laughs> then throw to this warrior for no reason. <laughs> Alright. So, um... And, of course, I'm... Aww. Am I retired? Chaos OP. Better? Chaos so OP. Clearly. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, Noamto. I live in uh, what, what's called uh, the pipe, which is the um, <clears throat> the part of the southern district that is closest to the city center. It's just quiet enough that it doesn't actually bother you, but um, really, really close to downtown. All right. Um, I hope uh, I hope I was able to offer you at least a, a, a fun experience on the stream, if not uh, a whole lot of teaching. I think in this case, it was more no, more it was, of a friendly it was fun. than it. And one of the things that I do like about playing somebody who uh, plays their race as well is that it forces me to be better, more proactive about thinking about well the decisions that I make before I just impulsively make those decisions. Yeah, I, I, I think I think many people who play Chaos actually do um play Blubble that way. Mm -hmm. They they look for, for the kill first and the position second. <clears throat> I know uh, with you I think it's it's less of a case, but Drayson who's also watching right now, or at least he was before, uh he, he would really explain to me how his his uh one of his issues is actually with, with impulse control and with l thinking before piling on, for instance, those kinds of uh rash decisions. Well, I think that it, it it's making rash decisions like piling on every single turn, that's something that is heavily rewarded on the ladder. I mean when you yeah, are playing if concessions against, are yeah. Yeah. When you're playing against some random person, you have a much higher chance of winning when you just hurt their precious pieces. Yeah, so, I know. That's why that's why my dark elves had a dirty player. Because mm -hmm. I would just foul their minotaur and they would concede, often before the foul is complete. Yep. <laughs> I was uh, playing a uh, Chaos team that was, I don't know, several hundred TV up from me called Green Apple Chaos, mm -hmm. and he had given Guard and Mighty Blow and Claw to pretty much everybody on his team, okay, not and bad. he conceded to me in round three because I two die uphilled, uh, two die uphill blocked his Minotaur, who didn't <laughs> have block. And I managed to, you know, get a pow and then do a piling on of the Minotaur, and he insta conceded. So, <laughs> you know, there's, you, you can definitely use um, <clears throat> obsessive killing as a good strategy. Yeah, and see that that's that's a big part of why I object to how easy it is to concede and how many people concede, because it actually facilitates a coaching style as well as a, a, a team build. That we already see enough of in in um, open ladders that don't have facilitate conceding, <clears throat> so it, it accelerates the the growth of chaos teams and it makes makes it makes it more rewarding, basically. Well, sure. If you if you think having people concede on you is rewarding, of course. 
because <laughs> you know if, you, if you're looking to is. get a game in that in that particular case that was that was fantastic that was <laughs> deliciousness nice nice all right so, thank you very um, much for the match yeah my pleasure thank you for uh for joining in it was fun and Definitely. uh we'll talk Hope to you to uh, again. again yeah absolutely all right all talk right to you later goodbye all right youtube thanks for watching if you enjoyed this remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom and of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.